Welcome back to Jesse at Home. In today's video, I have an office declutter and organizational video for you. I recently did a room makeover in here where I transformed this room from a just messy storage space to a functional guest room slash office. And while I moved everything out of the room, I put everything in these um, boxes and now it's time to sort them and organize them and make this room um, just be the best that it can be i am super excited of all the storage opportunities in here and i can't wait to utilize the space the way i've been dreaming of because i love to scrapbook i love to um like do crafts and all of that stuff so it's exciting to get all of these th these things out of the boxes i'm also going to be doing a ray dunn declutter in my closets um, later on in the video i'm also super excited because today's video is in collaboration with my sweet my sweet friend tristina um she is doing a kitchen declutter and organize over on her channel so i'm gonna let her introduce herself so you can get to know her hi friends my name is tristina and i'm a stay-at-home mom to two little boys on my channel i post all sorts of content relating to cleaning decorating organizing recipe videos basically everything that has to do with being a homemaker and a mother i love sharing my homemaking and motherhood journey with you guys and all the tips and tricks i learn along the way it would mean so much to me if after this video you head on over to my channel and check out my video as well and if you do don't forget to introduce yourself in the comments down below because I love getting to know you guys, so I hope to see you there. I love sharing my friends with you. I know it's always great to find new people to follow and new perspectives and new families. Um, she has two sweet little boys and she does a ton of decorating. She loves redone as well. She does a ton of decorating, cooking, cleaning renovation over on her channel. So I would really, really love it if you go over there and check her out after watching my video. If you are here from Tristina's channel, hi, my name is Jessie. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kids and I have a baby number three on the way. I've been doing a lot of nesting, a lot of organizing, decluttering. Um, I also just bought our dream house last year. It's been almost a year we've been in this house and we've been going room by room doing a ton of room transformations. So if you love that sort of thing, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. I'm thinking louder than my brain can take. Have to say something but words fade away. I want a picture One of the biggest things that I was looking forward to in this room was having plenty of hidden concealed storage. So I have that bookshelf all the way to the left and up top is like pretty things, display things, but below it I have my Xbox and my um, books and games and things like that hidden away and then I'm also using this dresser to organize my like tripods and um, chargers and scrapbooking like all the things that I really want 
to find a place for that is hidden away and I can easily find it is going in the dresser. Um, I will be doing a walkthrough at the end of the video to really show you up close, you know, exactly where everything goes. And my kind of mindset when it comes to organizing, um, I'm definitely not a perfectionist, but I do like things to be um, just efficient and easy to get to and do what makes sense for the way that I work in a space. Um, also, I am leaving one drawer. Yes, guests get one drawer to unpack in. I know several of you had mentioned leaving a drawer or two open for guests when they come to stay over, especially when the baby comes in June. I am going to leave them one drawer because I don't expect long-term guests. And whenever I travel, I like to just kind of live out of my suitcase. I rarely unpack whenever I go anywhere. But leave me a comment below if you are the ones to unpack everything, hang everything up, and have everything nice and neat, or you're fairly like me and just like live sloppily out of your suitcase for um, the whole time that you're traveling. Leave me a comment below because I'm really, really curious. I ended up getting these threshold bamboo drawer organizers from Target when I did my kitchen declutter. I didn't end up using them in the kitchen because I used those longer um, dividers in there, but it worked perfectly for in this dresser to kind of section out my chargers and some of the wires and some of the smaller tripods that can fit in there. It is nice to have some separation, but even though I wanted it all in one drawer so I could just open it up, get what I'm looking for, and have it all there at my fingertips, it is nice to kind of have them separated in there. Um, it's kind of crazy also how much like electronic stuff that you acquire when you're doing um, you know, YouTube as your job, like filming your life. You, you get so many batteries, so many chargers, so many different things. Like you're always trying out different kind of tech gear. So I've really acquired a ton of different things. Um, so it's kind of nice to have everything in one spot. That way if I'm looking for something, I know exactly where it is.
I'm going to be using some of my little Ray Dunn office dishes um, to organize inside of my drawers like uh, my paper clips and my binder clips and just little um, wires and things that I'm going to need when I'm like transferring files over from my phone or from my com um, my camera to my computer and things like that. It's definitely not going to be um, like aesthetically as pleasing as it could be because like there's you know I, I actually do work in here so I need like um, my computer plugged in and I have a um, external hard drive on top and like I need certain wires to be certain places and I like having things just easily reachable versus um, always put in a drawer so my desk area isn't going to be as pretty as it could maybe be but I'm making it functional for the way that I'm going to be working in here. So I wanted to go ahead and label um, the little cutouts to those five drawer um, cabinets that I have where my Cricut is sitting on. I'm using some removable vinyl. I'm, us I'm doing the matte black in removable vinyl. That way if I need to like change what goes in each drawer, I can easily like peel it off later. Um, but I love how easy it is to customize things in my office. This is not sponsored, um, although they did sponsor a video a while back and they did give me the Cricut for free. Um, I'm using the heck out of it. I love doing the projects. I just recently did a little um, thank you gift for my baby shower using the Cricut. It's just, I really, really, really enjoyed using it and it's a lot, a lot of fun. And it's really um, kind of, making my little crafting heart happy to just be able to have easy access access to it in my office and just have a space to um, to work with projects now. I just, I'm so happy that my office is finally done.
There's something super satisfying about watching me put the labels on and um, like peeling off the transfer tape. I don't know what it is, but I love how the handles like indent like that. So it, I'm not like putting the labels face on. It's kind of like a hidden way to see everything. I don't know. I just really love these um, drawers. It has so much room and I actually ended up having, I think, two drawers left over so I can fill it with more supplies later on. Um, I will link these in the description box below if you're interested. If you have like an office space, these are similar to the Ikea, but I ended up getting these on Amazon because I don't have an Ikea close to me. My closest Ikea is like two, two and a half hours away. So it was easier just to buy these on Amazon and have them shipped to me. Um, and I think they were a similar price to the Ikea one. So if you have Ikea close to you, definitely go get some Ikea ones. But if you're like me and, and Ikea isn't as close, um, this was kind of like the next best thing. These closets have been bugging me for a really long time. I've really shoved way too much stuff in here. Um, if you don't know, I am a huge Ray Dunn collector. I'm not actively collecting at the moment because as you can see, I have no more room. Um, a lot of this is seasonal decor. A lot of people were asking me like, why do you have all that up there? Like, why aren't you using it? And I do use it when the season is appropriate. Um, right now I have two full shelves of Christmas. The top is fall. On the left hand side is Halloween and I think summer um, up on that top top shelf. And then I think Halloween on the second shelf. On the third shelf is all Valentine's Day. On the fourth shelf on the left side is all Easter. And then in the green tub below that shelf is also Easter. So I decided that I wanted to go through and um, declutter my Ray Dunn. I am going to be listing these on Macari. I think I'm going to have a link in the description box below. None of this stuff is like new stuff. It's stuff from pretty much 2019 and earlier. So um, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Um, I'm not trying to upsell it a whole bunch. I might have to do a couple dollars here and there to pay for the, you know, the packaging because boxes are expensive and bubble wrap is expensive but i'm not trying to make a dollar i'm just trying to kind of share my collection with you guys um and if they end up not selling then i'm probably just going to end up donating them to my local goodwill or something just because i really don't need 50 million coffee cups um i love collecting i love decorating but if you have ever Ray Dunn hunted or been into that craze, you know it is a adrenaline rush. It is kind of like a shopaholic addiction and you gotta have the newest, the best, everything. Like, And you get into this cycle of just consuming, consuming, consuming. And um, when you're in it, you don't realize how bad it gets until you have literally hundreds and hundreds of coffee cups that you can't use. So I'm going through and I'm saving my favorites. I'm not get, getting rid of everything, but I'm going through and hopefully someone else will find joy in some of um, the coffee cups that I have collected over the past, like, several years. Wake up with you by my side. Without you there is no tomorrow.
I had actually forgotten that I had um, family pictures in there that I want to display around the house and some of the artwork that my kids have made for me. So it was really nice to un kind of unpack that um, bottom of that closet space and go through things and um, just really see what I have and just stop having everything shoved in there. It's just, it'll be so nice to just have room in the closets again. For both of my kids, I had done um, like a first year baby book scrapbook. So I want to continue that tradition for this new baby. So um, I think the company is called Creative Memories, if I remember. It's a white um, embossed leather scrapbook cover. It has like little baby booties on it. I'm going to try and look that up probably on eBay. I don't even know if that company is still around or not. but. Um, I had gotten all this stuff from that company to do like their first year of life and I really want to keep that tradition um, with this baby. I don't want this baby to have like third baby syndrome and like I don't do all of the same things um, that I did with my first two. I mean there's such an age gap that some things obviously we won't be able to do but um, I'm really looking forward to um, making him a little first year memory book. And a lot of this like scrapbooking stuff I hadn't seen in quite a while because in my second house, the previous home that you guys have seen on my videos, I didn't have my own office, but in our very first home that we owned, I had this tiny, tiny, tiny little office upstairs. It was really just like a little nook of a room. Um, and I did all my scrapbooking up there and it was really nice to have like a place to craft. So I'm really looking forward to doing that in this house as well. The desk drawers have these little redone containers to kind of separate um, things into categories. I just have some paper in here and some more of my um, wires. And this is mace. Don't know why I need it in here. I'll probably put that in my purse later. But um, just little bits and bobs that I need um, while at my desk. I am super happy with how everything came out. This is the Cricut machine. Um, so I have the tools and the charger and everything in there, or the plug-in, the power. This is transfer tape, and I'm saving all these little bits because you can always reuse them a couple times. Um, I like how the label is on the top of the drawers. This is where the permanent vinyl is. This is where the removable vinyl is. And then um, the vinyl sheets and cardstock is down there. Here is my heat press. So I have my heat press tools up top. Um, the USB cable, the heat pad, the booklets, then I have the iron on vinyl, um, lint roller, heat tape, then I have infusible ink, which I love this stuff, so I have all the supplies that I need to 
um, work on those type of product projects. And then I have two empty drawers down here. So I didn't label them. So I figured, you know, when the time comes, if I get more supplies, they can go in there. And then since my printer is here, I have my planner supplies in these. Then I have my printer supplies, all my photo paper, regular paper, anything that has to do with the printer goes in here. And then I have extra little notebooks and then I have my big notebooks and my extra planners and um, uh, some trash bags for my little trash can. Moving on to this dresser in the top drawer which looks incredibly messy but it has all of my extra camera, camera chargers, um, I do have it organized just maybe not to the naked eye, all my tripods here. This is my extra um, Polaroid stuff the Polaroid film um, and like I said all my old cameras my old phones my chargers everything that I need to do with um, filming and taking pictures is in this top drawer in this other drawer I'm leaving this one empty this is the um, extra sheets for the trundle I'm just gonna leave this empty if somebody wants to come over and unpack they can I don't have long-term guests here like nobody's coming for a month or anything that I know of <laughs> it's mostly just a long weekend so if they want to unpack something they can have their own drawer but that's all they're getting and then this is all of my scrapbooking supplies I still need to go through this because a lot of it is really really old um, I need to see what I can get rid of but um, I do want to start scrapbooking the babies memory book because I did um, one for each of my other kids so I want to make sure that he gets his own as well. In this drawer is extra, um, that is my light ring, some more planners, um, binders, bigger notebooks, like office type stuff in here. This bottom drawer over here, this is all my craft stuff like my bead, my letter board, um, some Dollar Tree, uh, easel stands, my, all my hot glue stuff, um, basically just a bunch of craft stuff. Then this last drawer is all of my party supplies, and Christmas cards, Christmas tags, um, votives, things like that, like tablescape stuff. Um, I eventually want to move my tablescape stuff and party supplies downstairs um, when, when I reorganize that big Harry Potter closet under the stairs, but for now this works and then this will be another empty drawer for something. So this tall cabinet in here is my Xbox and my Xbox stuff and then all of my games and extra books and things like that. Um, I don't like to actually... Um, have paper books much anymore so I am gonna go through those and probably donate them my Ray Dunn closet <laughs> there's a lot of Christmas in here I went ahead and went through all of my basics that were down here this is just overflow of Christmas um, eventually I'm going to go through each of the seasons as the seasons are coming up and go through and get rid of more of my mugs and such and extra things that I really don't need I am happy to see so much floor space down there. Those are my lights. Those are my gift bags, extra gift bags and things. Those are all memory things for the kids. That's Madeline's, that's Gabriel's, that's mine. Um, it just has baby things in it and things from my childhood in it. So I really do want to keep those. And I just like how it's not jam packed down here anymore. Like I said, I didn't really go through all of the holiday stuff. Um, I will as each of those times come. Easter is already sort of close so I'm not going to go through any of this stuff plus I don't really know what I'm going to be using for next year so all of this kind of stays the same it's neat it's not as overbearing as my Christmas side um, that is full of um, Easter as well those are just some extra pillows and then I have um, all the cards and everything that you guys send me in there that I can go through and look at um, I always Send you guys something when you send something to the PO box and I, and I don't throw away your letters and anything that you send me I always keep it 